Hello everybody. Hello everybody. Hello everybody. Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 3 of the Create Flavored Mod Pack. Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of this new series here on the channel. Alright, I've gathered up all my materials, and now it's time for a good old-fashioned time-lapse. Hello everybody and welcome to a new series here on the channel. This is Project Architect and I'm actually going to be playing on a server with a couple of my friends. Without spoiling too much, here is our base. Now it's not perfect yet. We have a mechanical press and a mill, I believe this is called. Millstone. I'm going to run it. See if these two connect. Yep, perfect. We finally finished the uh, the blaze farm. All right, that's the gray concrete finished, and you can tell it adds a good bit of detail where a little bit of detail was lacking. In this chest holds the secret to infinity. You won't want to miss this. I also finished the reactor here. Dial dial is okay. Make sure our order is charged. All right, and I think we're ready to jump right in. But as you can see, we have these giant blocks of netherite. And so you can see we created giant hollow cubes. All right, so I did just a little bit of grinding off camera. And uh, don't be too surprised when you see this. Yep, it's an entire uh, backpack full of netherite. Everything stacked up to 256 as well. Hey everybody, just wanted to make a quick video to thank you all for 20 subscribers. Um, I created this channel in 2012, but I actually started making videos in 2016. Back then I pretty much only uploaded music and a single review of a game that I had played. But I started uploading Minecraft content at the start of this year with the Hardcore series. Uh, which is still ongoing by the way, but I'm just taking a little bit of a break from it to focus on the new modded series. Speaking of, the Project Architect mod pack series has been going super well. Um, I'm playing on a server with a few of my friends, so there's still plenty of hijinks while uh, keeping it fairly technical as well. Um, but anyway, that was a little bit of a tangent. Just wanted to say thank you guys once again. Uh, thank you all for 20 subscribers, and I'm looking forward to uh, see how the channel grows in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.
In this video, I attempt the impossible. I plan on surviving 100 days in hardcore Minecraft, but there's a twist. I'm playing with over 200 mods installed, some of which increase the difficulty of every single enemy and add new enemies. There are new locations and challenges to be faced. This is a completely custom mod pack made by me. I'm unfamiliar with most of these mods, so I'll be going in mostly blind. This is my seventh attempt at this. The furthest that I've gotten so far is 10 days. Yes, it is that difficult. Will I survive longer than that? Will I make it to 100 days? Or will I walk away from this challenge with my tail between my legs? The shaders are making that lava look a little weird. Wait, is that lava? Hold on. No way. Isn't that one of the mounts? I went for my very first flight with her. I don't know if they actually have genders, but I started referring to her as a she. Panic began to set in. I searched the area, but the only thing I found was a saddle and diamond horse armor. A new, darker era was about to begin in my world. The enemies became harder, and I felt weaker without the ability to fly. Not to mention, the pillagers became more and more of a menace. I was out exploring when I overheard some pillagers saying the pillager captains were planning an attack on the village. They said they would be gathering as many pillagers as they could over the next 20 days. I met with the village chiefs to decide what to do next. They didn't believe me. They said they couldn't trust me. I was still an outsider. So I decided to improve both my standing in the village and everyone's chances of surviving. I met with the villager chiefs once again. They were grateful to me for improving their village. They invited me to join them on the council. I declined their offer. I wasn't sure if I was going to be staying in the area for long. I explained that I just wanted to help them defend themselves against the pillagers. They accepted my offer. As I wandered the village looking for any pillagers that might have remained, I realized it had already been 100 days since I awoke in this world. I still wasn't sure why I was here, but I knew that the people here were grateful. I returned to the outpost and decided to burn it down. It was too dangerous to allow the pillagers to remain this close to my home and to the village. I watched it burn from a distance and picked off any pillagers that attempted to flee. As the sun set, I flew into their horizon. I needed a break from all of this conflict. I wasn't sure if I would come back or not. But one thing I do know, though, is that this isn't over.
Hello everybody, welcome to a new series here on the channel. This is the Create Flavored Mod Pack. Um, so yeah, that should be... Ah. Watch out, friend. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's brutal. And we'll try it. There we go. Nice. Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 7 of the Create Flavored Mod Pack. I think we have everything. Let me just double check. It doesn't look like we, uh, we're missing anything. Cool. Um, so, now all we need to do is give it to the villager, so I'm just going to right-click him. Just going to... Okay, there, uh, I think there's an issue with it. There we go, I managed to, uh, fix it. So, now we're just gonna enjoy a nice ride through the, uh, countryside. But I think it's time for, um, one last ride with the, uh, the old Buffalo Ranger here. So, I've finally finished the train. And there's the reveal. Yeah, this thing took a really long time to make. So, oh, <laughs> yep, immediately I see that I forgot something. So, A, I can turn the train around a little bit quicker, and B, I have a little bit more room for farms. Okay, he should wait 15 seconds before leaving. Ah, uh, of course. Okay, I think I might have fixed it. Um, I did skip the lava station, so it should be going to the starter base first. Yep. Here we go. We should pick up some lava. Nice. Yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you next time. Peace.